Hello, and welcome to the Regional Association of West Quebecers Rock Talk series. In this series, we will welcome speakers from across the region to join us and present on various topics. The Rock Talk series is made possible under the Secretariat for Relations with English-Speaking Quebecers through the Community Health and Social Services Network and its Enhancing Regional Community Capacity Initiative. Today, we will hear from Emily Berard, the Project and Event Coordinator at Youth for Youth Quebec. Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm the Project and Event Coordinator at Y4Y. I've been at Y4Y since September 2020 and I have been working on the Priority Setting Summit project since then. Uh, this is what we're going to be discussing today and I'll get more into details after this little uh, brief message about Y4Y. And for those who don't know, Y4Y stands for Youth for Youth, which is exactly what the organization does. It's youth working for youth. Y4Y is um, committed to addressing the issues facing the English-speaking youth ages 16 to 30 about in the Quebec province. We want to give the youth a chance to express their concerns and um, their issues on a platform that will guarantee that they're going to be heard and that we can act upon it. We want to ensure that youth feel empowered and that the increase their civic engagement, which brings me to our vision. We aspire to create a strong sense of belonging to the community so that youth will feel a part of Quebec society. So to do so and to achieve that goal, we do a bunch of um, events and uh, guest speakers, workshops. We have so many things going on every day at Y4Y to help the youth um, share their concerns and be part of Y4Y. This is why it's going to bring me to the priority setting summit project. So we do have a lot of events happening, but this is definitely by far the biggest one we've had so far. A priority setting summit project, I'm going to be calling it the PSSP for the purpose of this talk, just because it's a very long title. And this project is a two day virtual Zoom event that's going to be happening on March 20th and 21st of 2021. So coming up pretty soon. The goal of the event, uh, the main goal of the event is to mobilize and increase civic engagement among Quebec English speaking youth in Quebec. And this is gonna be done by providing them with tools that are necessary for them to develop a strong leadership skills for the future. This is also gonna be accomplished by uh, giving the youth an accessible platform where they'll be able to share all their concerns and all their issues and ideas and identifying the core needs that the their community needs. The PSSP is going to be held over the course of two days, like I mentioned before, and these two days are going to be pretty filled up. It's going to be very full days of learning and participating. There's going to be workshops, activities, there's going to be some guest speakers, we're going to have some networking time, there's going to be so much happening at the same time, but it's going to be super, super interesting. And I will get into the agenda a little bit later. So this project wouldn't be happening without our funders and partners. The PSSP is funded by Canada Heritage. And we also have a bunch of partners like Yes Montreal, INM, Rock, obviously, Apathy is Boring, VEC, and CHSSNN. This, um, these partners have been playing a big role because they are animating the workshops that will be happening. They have been giving us suggestions. They have sent over people to help us with the coordination of this event. So all of these, all of these uh, different organizations have different missions, but it all comes down to helping others and helping the youth and the community. Over here, we have the PSSP team, which again, uh, this event wouldn't be happening without them. Um, on the left over here, you got me, the main project coordinator. You also have Alex, who's another Y4Y employee working as a project coordinator on the project as well. And you have Maridina Salvione, who's, uh, she works for the INM and the INM has been a big, big partner for us. And underneath here, this is where it gets really interesting because we do have a youth advisory committee on this project who has been working with us since October. So we've been meeting on a monthly basis to um, coordinate and get their ideas and their feedback on the project. 
So they have been giving us ideas and themes and issues that they face every day as English speaking youth in Quebec in order to have the most um, practical and good uh, summit possible. Jesus Bederek, Brandon Calado Luke, Nicole Mashin, Rihanna Day, Daniel Yu, and Albano Suhai. So, again, big thanks to them because they have been doing so much for the project. I'm going to get a little bit into the agenda of the weekend. Before I get into it, you're going to notice it's very packed, but it's because we have so much interesting, we have so many interesting subjects to talk about during this, uh, this summit. First of all, there's the, obviously the opening of the platform on day one. We'll be opening around 9.45, just in time to welcome our first guest speaker, who's going to be Thomas Mulcair, which I'm going to get a little bit more into it after. There's also going to be a lot of networking periods so that you, the participant can talk and discuss and um, exchange emails and information in order to um, grow their network. There's going to be a bunch of activities. The first one is the simulation of an interpolation, which is going to be very interesting, and it's going to be a two-parter. We're also going to have our first workshop on the first day, which is going to be civic engagement. So that's one of the six themes of the six workshops. So that's going to be given by the INM. There's going to be more discussion and networking. Then there's going to be obviously a bit of breaks throughout the day to give a little mental break for everything. And then we're going to have our second workshop which is going to be character development and understanding, again, by the INM. We're going to have a third workshop on day one, which is going to be professional learning and abilities by Michael T. We're going to have a Mentimeter period. And then for day one, we're going to end it very smoothly with a little documentary called A Place of Time in Time, which is really interesting. And it's happening in Quebec. Um, and I'm going to keep a little bit of a secret for this documentary, but it's, it is a do not miss. And that will be the end of day one, and it's going to be finishing around 5 p.m. For day two, so we have, uh, again, we're starting the day around 9.30 on day two. We're going to have a welcome back from word from the project coordinator. Then we're going to have some networking time, and then we're going to get straight into activity three. So um, basically the part two of the interpolation. So then after that, we're going to have our three other workshops. So there's six workshops total. The three others are happening. This is still to be determined the exact times for which is which, but education or diversity and inclusion will be at this time, and it will be given by INM. And we're also going to have some networking time again. Then at 1 p.m., it's going to be, again, either education or diversity and inclusion. After that, we're going to have Parliamentary virtual tour and discussions, not to miss. Also, it's super interesting. We're going to go super into details about that. Then we're going to have uh, the last workshop of uh, the weekend, which is Employment Concerns by Yes Montreal. Then we're going to have a Mentimeter, and then we're going to have a surprise guest, which we're not mentioning at the moment, but you will find out very shortly in the next couple of days. And um, there's going to be a question and networking period, and then that's going to be end of day two. So very full days, but do not miss because it is so interesting and there's going to be so much happening and it's going to be super, super, super educative. As I mentioned, uh, we do have a, a guest speaker, well, two guest speakers that are going to be at the Priority Setting Summit project. And one of them is going to be Thomas Mulcair, which is, he's a big deal in Quebec. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty amazing that we get to have him over for a speech. Uh, Thomas Mulcair began his legal career at the at Quebec Justice Department and served as president of Quebec Profession Board, so that's a pretty big title. He also was elected three times to the Quebec National Assembly, and he is the, also the author of Quebec's landmark uh, Sustainable Development Act when he was the Minister of the Sustainable Development Environment and Parks. And finally, he was elected four times to the House of Commons. He was the party leader and leader of the official opposition. So this is a lot of things that he's accomplished. So it's going to be super interesting to have him talk to us about everything he's uh, been through and give us give us some feedback and uh, interesting um, things to say about everything that's been going on. Uh, obviously, you can see here there's a bit of a little guest surprise that's going to be happening. This is going to be posted on our social media. So I invite you to uh, check that out. I'll discuss that a little bit later too. So you might be wondering, why should I participate? 
and this is why. There are so many reasons other than just these ones that you should participate, but these are the main ones. We want you to invite to speak up about concerns and issues that English-speaking youth in Quebec are facing on a daily basis. They are too important and too um, significant to just ignore them. We want to fix that. We need to meet and network with you just like you in Quebec. And that's going to allow them, that's going to allow participants to get to know a bunch of people who are in the same situation and want to make changes just like you do. We also want to allow the participant to learn about important matters that are happening right now. So as many as you may know, there might be some more that you not that you don't know about yet, but you will get to know about these issues. You also will learn to, uh, we also want people to learn and participate in fun and interesting activities and workshops while always encouraging the youth to feel empowered and increase the civic engagement. And finally, we want to hear from successful English speaking people who have made it in Quebec and that's a pretty big deal. So we want to want people to um, notice that and notice. To participate to the event, you need to register. Don't forget to do this before the event because that will give you the Zoom access link to the event. So you really need to do that. You can just hop on wiperwisesummit.com and go under registration and then you click on the big here and you'll get to this next little page here, which is this quick little survey that you need to fill in. Very, very, it takes like 30 seconds. It won't be long at all. You fill that up and then you'll get your email with your Zoom invite and it will allow you to participate to the event. I want to end up by saying that um, we have a lot of social media and platforms where you can uh, check us out on there for why for why you can ask any questions that you may have any concerns you can share them with us. We also have a bunch of giveaways and a lot of activities happening on the social media so you don't want to miss that. We have our Instagram at why for why Quebec, we have our LinkedIn youth for youth Quebec, we have our Twitter why for why Quebec. Facebook, why for why Quebec again, and then we have a website for the summit itself, which is www.yforysummit.com, which is going to be super interesting, and um, there's all the information you need on there. I just want to thank you so much. I hope this talk was uh, worth your time and that it gave you, um, it made you want to participate to the event. It's going to be the first edition, and it's not to miss because it's going to be an amazing opportunity, and it's going to be a great event. Thank you. Thank you, Emily, for sharing more about the upcoming Priority Setting Summit project that will take place later this month. And thank you to each of you for tuning in this week. Be sure to keep an eye on our YouTube channel as we will have more Rock Talk episodes for you to enjoy. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay in the loop. For more information about the Regional Association of West Quebecers or to become a member, visit our website www.westquebecers.ca. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at West Quebecers.